Hi everyone and welcome to another fly tying session. My name is Daniel and and I I run Nordic Anglers where you can buy all the materials for this fly. This is a bit of a special fly. This is a fly that one of my colleagues Martin Fabricius um, has uh, has invented and has dubbed. Um, a little while back we uh, we went on a on a on a fishing trip for salmon and sea trout, and uh, and on the morning before I picked him up to to go fishing in Ribe, he uh, he had a bit of time. Uh, because he has two young kids and uh, and they wake early, so he sat down and 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 tied two flies, um, and uh, and his daughter was along for the tying. She's she's quite quite young, um, and and she helped him out pick some of the materials and materials and stuff. So he dubbed it the golden nugget, um, and uh, and basically uh, this fly outfished all of us on this trip. So um, I decided to, I wanted to have some of these in my fly tying box and that's also why I do not want to, you know, this is a, a really, really a, a great a great looking pattern and, a, and, and a fly that, that under certain conditions really, at least on that trip, outshined everything else. So, so uh, I think to, to give you the inspiration and, and to give you the opportunity to see this pattern, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do Martin Fabricius, the golden nugget, right now. Um, and it has both mine and Martin's um, warmest recommendations. Here goes. Now we're going to tie this. <laughs> Here it is, the golden nugget or something along those lines if you translate that to uh, to English. Um, I'm just gonna remove this from the vise and uh, and then we're gonna we're gonna tie this one. Um, this is a smaller fly so perhaps uh, really really a, a deadly pattern as Martin proved uh, for for summer fishing. Even though the colors are quite vivid and, and intense this really turned out to be well at least it turned out to be the fly that the trick on uh, on on that trip uh, we took to Ribe, uh, which you can you can watch the full-length video, uh, the the vlog from from that trip uh, uh, on on this channel as well. So uh, so if you want to see this fly in action, then uh, please watch the the vlog about uh, about our trip to Ribe. Um, the first thing we need is of course some some tying thread to tie the golden nugget here. I'm just gonna apply a bit of this uh, and and and. Uh, and tie it all the way down to to the small color here that I made on the on the on the tube with my lighter. The first thing we need is to add a bit of contrast and to keep all the rest of the materials really just to puff it up uh, uh, out into the current. So we're going to take a small amount of uh, this is ice dubbing in chocolate brown. Um, and and we're basically just gonna make a small bundle of this, basically kind of like the tag or the butt of the fly. And but this is the, the the main function of this is is basically to to have kind of like a small a small bundle here to make the uh, the the boar bristle and the flesh and the heckle just just really um, stand out uh, and and be moved up into the current. Then we're gonna take some of these boar bristles. This is fast becoming one of my all-time favorite materials for uh, ingredient in in any any salmon or, or sea trout fly. So I picked out five or six of these uh, these boar bristles here, um, and uh, and you can you can tie them uh, you can tie them down at one go, or you can you can basically uh, tie in the individual if if you if you're really going for the aesthetics. Then you can, of course, take the time to 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 angle these in a 90 degree angle, so it's so it's it's really evenly distributed all the way around the uh, the the tube here. I just try to distribute them fairly e evenly. You know, this is a fly intended for my fly box. I'm gonna fish with this fly, and then I apply some thread. And basically, because these are so stiff, you can you can pull them into place. And pull them a bit longer, pull them a bit shorter, if 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 that's your fancy, depending on what what size of the fly you're going for. Uh, I'm I'm going for a relatively small fly, so I mind I want mine to be around maybe maybe two centimeters. And and as you can see, these are really really big uh, and 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 dense hairs, so it's easy to identify the individual ones. 
and then basically pull them longer, pull them shorter, and uh, and pull them into to the position that uh, that you think they should be be placed around the uh, around the the tube here. So this one, and uh, of course the rotation on the vise helps out with this as well. I won't want to be a bit placed a bit around there as well. So basically. Now I have mine distributed sort of fairly, fairly evenly all the way around the hook, and not the hook, the, uh, of course, the tube here, and that's perfect. The thing about these bore bristles is they are so stiff that they are not uh, affected very much by the current, so they will basically keep this, keep being pu pu pushed out into the into the water, even though the current is even if the current is quite uh, hard, then they will not collapse. And I think this will will is is what makes these so unique and so good. Is is they make a lot of tension. They make a lot of strange, uh, you know, uh, vibrations in the water, and uh, and that makes it easier for the fish to actually locate them. And I think that's that's really uh, the the main reason why uh, these f have these. I'm, I, t I, I, I want to say magical properties, but I tend to be wary of anything magical. But you know, salmon fishing is in general a mythic, you know, a mythic game. So let's let's just call it magic. <laughs> um, then we need a bit of flesh in uh, to spice things up a bit, uh, and this is the uh, the opal uh, crystal flesh, which which is probably the the flesh I know of that has the most spark and the most just wow effect. Um, we're gonna take four or five of strands of flesh again. I'm gonna try to to get these all the way around the uh, the actual uh, the actual tube. So they are distributed again, kind of not in not in just one bun bundle of on top, but basically they they also are 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 all the way around the tube here. If you want more than five, you can basically just as when it's turned uh, tied down, you can just turn some of these over and and then add them. But but I'm gonna I'm gonna go for a small low water fly here, so so five is enough for me. I'm gonna cut away all the. Uh, all the boar bristles and then I'm gonna trim the flesh so it's not that long and um, uh, basically no oh, that one came off I'm just gonna reattach it there we go and basically there we have the uh, the, the, the tail part of the fly then we need a hackle and uh, and for this we need a, a, a hen a hen soft hackle um, in uh, in burnt orange, um, you can if if you want a really really light version, you can you can trim down uh, one of the sides of this, or you can just make less turns with the uh, with the hackle here. Because again, uh, this is not going to be this is going to be a low water fly for for warm w water conditions, so it's it's not going to be uh, it's not going to be really long and really bulky. Um, I'm going to try to keep it fairly sparse. And uh, this is a fly that, in 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 its in its in its final final look and final finish, it looks quite a lot like the style of the Tilda and the Astrid and the uh, the Code Gesture and stuff. But uh, but this only have two hackles, so it's uh, it's 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 a, it's, a, it's a smaller smaller fly in general. But basically, it is it's it has all a lot of the components. That that in my salmon fishing for the Danish salmon really just has been a, ex, for me at least very very successful. But also for a lot of other people, I see a lot of tildes, a lot of estrids, a lot of coat gestures out uh, and about uh, <laughs> when I go salmon fishing. And I think there is probably a reason for that. We're gonna cut away all the leftover hackle stumps and as you can see the 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 dubbing ball or whatever we want to call it really just makes everything just just pop out into the current where it's needed and basically I'm just gonna make a whip finish here because that's the first part of the fly done cut away my tying thread just gonna see if if everything is as it should be it is Gonna apply a bit of Savagap to keep the uh, to keep the uh, the four millimeter Fuchsia fly uh, yellow bead in place. See what I did there? Product placement again. 
No, but you need to know if, if you want to tie this, you know. And I'm just gonna mesh it on there. There we go. And, and that is of course to, to give a bit of weight, but also to make this fly a bit faster to tie. We need the weight for the for the Danish rivers uh, to, to get get the fly down and and into into where the, the sea trout and the, and the salmon actually lies, rests. And, uh, and, and uh, it's a good way to do it like this. You can use both the tungsten version and the, uh, the brass version depending on how, how fast and how deep you want it to go. Uh, the last thing we need is uh, is a rooster feather in bright orange, just orange basically, and this needs to be a bit long. So, took a quite big feather. Is that? Uh, you, oh, you can't hear that. There is a, a boxing a fitness boxing club just on top of our showroom here in Aarhus. And uh, f for some reason, uh, a lot of the times when we decide to make these uh, fly tying videos, it coincides and collides with, with them just really just pounding away and, and just hearing a lot of quite heavy uh, music and stuff. Uh, so, uh, so just now they're not turned on the music, but they are running or something. They're warming up. Yeah, yeah. That's Stepping in place. Yeah. Sounds like a tap class. Heavy tap class. Did the hackle doing a whip finish? I need to grease my bobbin by the sound of it. And cut away this, and the, the only thing that needs to be added is, of course, a small cone. Or not of course, but it is a small cone in uh, in hot orange, and we use a future fly here. This is the four millimeter uh, cone because it's a small small fly. Just apply a bit of savagap without uh, applying it to the hackle, of course. And there we go, the golden nugget, a fly that I first hand saw deliver even behind me, which was kind of annoying. Basically, that's it, uh, the golden nugget. Um, in all its, its, its simplicity, but still, you know, it, it's just one of those patterns that when you tie this fly, you can, you can literally see that this, this has what it takes to, to catch a salmon. And, uh, and Martin proved that, uh, um, as I said again, if you want to watch how this fly uh, worked in, in the, out in, in the real life where, where it matters, then, then, uh, then look up the, uh, the vlog about our trip to, uh, to Riebe here on the channel as well. As always, we have the full and complete material kit for, for this fly and all the other fly tying videos. It would mean a lot to us if you would swing by Nordic Anglers to see some of these materials. Um, and, and if you happen to find something that, that you would like, then it would please us really much to, to, you know, to pack and ship it directly to you. Um, also, if you have any questions regarding fly fishing or, re or regarding basically anything, anything fly fishing related related i'm not uh, I'm, I'm not in in the game of you know uh, giving marriage ad advice and stuff like that so keep please please <laughs> if you have any questions in relationship to to fly fishing uh, or fishing in general you're more than welcome to send us an email or, or to to basically call us you can find all that info on, on nordic anglers as well we are more than happy to to help you out with whatever you need again in regards to <laughs> <laughs> to fly fishing um, otherwise subscribe to the channel that would mean a lot to us um, I think that's it that's it for now the golden nugget going straight to my box thank you for watching and uh, as always I wish you all the best of luck out on the water <laughs> <laughs>